Alex, and we did an automated beverage dispenser for our final project. So um, the idea behind the project was that uh, a lot of bartenders and also other restaurant people are always dispensing drinks, and sometimes they're like sitting by the fountain or the tap, and they're just like pouring the drink forever. And they could be doing other stuff, like running your credit card or you know, busing tables or something. So our our project um, it opens by hand, and so right now you just twist it. But in the future, maybe you could like pull a lever. And there's a it uses a force sensor to weigh the beverage as it comes out. And the idea is the reading from the force sensor goes into the microcontroller, and the microcontroller con controls a motor that turns the valve off so that the perfect amount of beverage is dispensed. Uh, we also have um, a button that can turn it off manually and a switch that selects the size of the beverage, small or medium, right now. Um. So our block diagrams, here's the hardware diagram. It's really similar to the temperature sensor one. We have a small force to voltage, voltage circuit over here that converts the resistance to the force sensor. Um, and then our software diagram. All right, so one of the, when we ordered the force sensor from SparkFun, um, the data sheet said it changes its resistance based on pressure. And so you can't read a resistance into the analog to digital converter, so we had to use an operational amplifier with the one resistor and with the force sensor, and I was able to convert the resistance into a voltage that we were able to use to read into the ADC. And that is the circuit right here. So it's like a unity gain feedback something. I should have learned how it works exactly. Um, and also, we also have another circuit that drives our motor, and it's really simple. It just has a BJT. And the motor is hooked up to this BJT, something like this. And it has a diode. <laughs> and so the, the, we use a diode to prevent the electromagnetic uh, field from building up inside the motor for blowing out the BJT. And uh, basically the output of the digital to analog converter, we used a jumper on the Nexus and it gave us 5 volts on our base through like a 1K resistor. And that was able to drive a small motor that was able to shut off the valve. This is our overall design scheme. Um, we keep the liquid above so we don't have to use a pump. And uh, the rubber band, the motor turns the rubber band that turns the valve off so it stops dispensing fluid. And, um, Issues we had with our force sensor in the beginning too, where we were um, like placing a book on top of it, and the book had a lot of surface area, and so it took a lot of pressure to get a reading out of it. And um, eventually, we just we I had the idea of we can we placed a shot glass on top of it. It concentrated the force onto the force sensor. So the sensor is like a fairly large square compared to some other ones, and so that was able to give us much um, like a very small amount of pressure. Actually, now it uh, triggers it. And um, so it's the only issue with it is it's not the most accurate sensor. So like real precise measurements down to the gram are hard to achieve, but uh, general amounts of liquid are pretty close. So overall, we have the switch that decides the size. We have the buttons, the manual shut off. And then we also on the LCD, we display the progress. So it'll tell you the percentage of how full the drink is. So if you have a medium sized drink, it'll tell you when it It'll tell you like all the way up to 100% full, so you can tell its progress. Um, and yeah, so we'll do the demo. Okay. <laughs> to give us the juice for the motor and also to s for the rail on our op amp. And um, so I'm going to test the manual shutoff real quick. So that was working. Um, and so right now it's reading 0% on a small drink, if you guys can see on the LCD right here. And if I press down on the cup, you can see it, it changes, so it can go up to 100%. And um, let me just start it going.
And the percent goes up pretty linearly, hopefully. Should kick in, I'm not sure. The water's coming out kind of slow. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so it jumped up to 30% real quick. There's a little region in there where it uh, doesn't take a reading. Um, oh no. My been jammed. So, <laughs> yeah, a little mechanical failure there. Um, but usually the issue can be too with this rubber band. It, um, sometimes it's off at an angle. So now it shuts itself off. Good. Um, we could test it with a medium sized beverage too. Might give us a better result. So if you hit this switch, it'll display medium. So it's at 50, 60 percent right now, 70, 80, 90. Oh, terrible. It was all pill. Yeah, so it, it was working when we tested it yesterday. <laughs> it's just like a little bit of friction in there, and the motor doesn't seem to get it, but um, that's about it. <laughs>